Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're watching the Young Engineer Spotlight at Display Week 2021. I'm Ke Yang. I'm a materials engineer. I'm volunteering at SID Young Engineer Spotlight Program. Today, for the Young Engineer Showcase, we have Dr. Sun Bing Deng. He's a postdoctoral researcher at Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Hi, Dr. Deng, how are you? Hi, hi, Ke Jia. Hello, everyone. Uh, could, you, could you introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, of course. Uh, thanks for having me at first. My name is Sun Bing Deng, coming from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And at present, I'm supported by the Research Talent Hub of Hong Kong Innovation and Technology Fund and serve as a postdoctoral research associate in Seiki Laboratory of Advanced Displays and Auto Electronic Technologies. And our lab is exploring, uh, exploring cutting edge uh, and highly industrial applicable display technologies. We place uh, particularly emphasis on green displays, such as AMOLED displays, field sequential color LCDs, and bistable LCDs. My current research includes two directions. One is the cost-effective, energy-efficient TFT electronics for uh, displays and sensor interfaces. And this is consistent with my PhD thesis. Mm -hmm under the supervision of the Professor Hai Sing Kong and Professor Man Wang. And the other one is to develop ultra high resolution uh, shadow masks for micro OLED displays. And this project is in cooperation with Professor Ching Tang and Professor Shou Chen Dong. And that's my uh, introduction. Well, thank you so much. It sounds very exciting works. Um, I, I think this is not the first time you're attending the display week, right? Yes, yes. I've attended twice on five display weeks, seriously. Ah, so and, uh, could you, could you and, share a little bit on what is your best experience at the Display Week in the past? Uh, yes, uh, fairly speaking, uh, Display Week is an, an annual feast in Display World and provides an arrival platform for, for attendees to present their achievements and share their opinions and also to follow the up-to-date progress of display, display technologies. And uh, every time I, at the end of the Display week, I could feel a sense of satisfaction. Uh, personally, I I like the exhibit exhibit and the symposium very much. It has the exhibit as well as the iZoom offers me a privilege to see lots of cutting edge display technologies, mm -hmm. and uh, I may also have opportunities to interact with the frontline engineers. And during the symposium, you know, the some of the exhibitors will also share the the details of their highlighted technologies. So this organic combination of these two, two parts can make a comprehensive impression in my mind on the status and the chain of this industry. And additionally, I would also speak highly of the student job fair, okay. where I met many excellent young scholars and engineers. Some of them have been keeping a good relationship or say friendship with me till today. So I really appreciate what the organizers of the display week did for us. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, so what about this display week? Um, what will you be uh, most looking forward to at the display week 2021? Actually, I, I pretty look forward to uh, the, hearing the presentation uh, uh, of the Amazon and uh, the Google uh, in the keynote addresses. And you know, the, the COVID-19 pandemic has significantly affected or, or even reshaped our daily lifestyle. Yeah. and the spending habits. So many experts such as the retail, catering, and the entertainment, and even our display week itself. And because, uh, you, 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 uh, because these have to find their own way on a virtual way. Mm -hmm. And display technology actually plays an important role in the information uh, conveying and the interaction in the metaverse. I mm -hmm. think uh, we can benefit very much from the perspective of these high-tech giants on how to use this place as a platform for delivering the amazing service to the customers and also for developing a more efficient work and the innovation mode, even in a post-COVID future. Mm -hmm. And the, the pandemic is not only a disaster for us, but also an opportunity to yeah. display to display to affect the world and our life more profoundly. Yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah. Well, uh, let's talk a little bit about your your work. And I think you have a, a, you will have a talk 
at this display week, correct? Yes, it's our prison network, uh, which is about the uh, uh, cost effective for nation math to enhancing the performance and facilitating the low cost manufacturing of mm. metal side TFTs in uh -huh. session eight. Uh, it should be on Monday. And I really appreciate that the symposium committee could nominate my work as a distinguished paper. Mm. And, uh, and as you know, the thermal annealing actually is a time consuming process. In some cases, it costs about, uh, about 40% of the total processing time for fabricating the display backplane. Mm. So to save the annealing time without uh, the, this device perform performance degradation, I introduced uh, novel fabric uh, fluorination treatments on metal side TFT in this mm. work. And the treatments were performed uh, in, uh, with, together with the industry standard finalization process of the backplanes and adopted the fluorinated uh, poly image as their planarization layer. Mm -hmm. So compared with other commonly used fluorination method, the cost of my method is believed to be much lower and because there is no need to insert extra fluorination steps into the existing process flow and uh, additional annealing steps uh, before the planarization processes can be eliminated as well. Oh. Uh, despite that, the production cycle uh, has been uh, has been much shortened and the process thermal budget has been significantly reduced. The fabrication metal uh, metal side TFTs still showed uh, enhanced electrical characteristics and stability against the well real stresses. Mm -hmm. And this this would, uh, work I believe is much uh, very useful for the cost effective production of active matrix for panel displays and uh, also for the implementation of the metal side TFTs for flexible electronics. Yes, yeah, that's it sounds, sounds very exciting. I'm actually very looking forward to uh, the, the, the talk you have on Monday. And congrats on, on the extinguished paper. Yes, everyone is welcome to, to join my presentation and discuss with me uh, during that, that time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing this. And we're looking forward to hearing your talk and um, enjoying the Display Week 2021 then. Yes, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.